Hello everyone, welcome to Networking Essentials Unit 2, Protocol Layers and uh, Reference Model. Because of a uh, complex uh, network environment, so we need to have an appropriate way to deal with uh, uh, networking issues. We will check our travel example first to know why we should have a layering. After that, we have uh, the internet protocol stack, which contains five layers. And finally, we'll check operation in action. All right, that's it. Introduction. We have the fact networks are complex with uh, many pieces, including these. Therefore, we have a question. Is there any hope of organizing structure of a network? Of course, it's yes. Let us talk about the example of uh, our travel. We should use layers, and layers can uh, split the whole task into several ones, including ticket, page, gets, runaway, and routing. And therefore, we have uh, the corresponding services ticketing, page, get, runaway, and uh, routing service. So, of course, we should follow this model. Why learning? In fact, we should deal with a complex system. So, we should rely on the concept of a layer to have a layer reference model. And with a layer reference model, then we can have a several module and uh, the modularization can is maintenance updating of a system. If we want to change some implementation of the layer, then uh, this change will be transparent to the rest of the system. So for example, if uh, we want to change something in the get procedure in the case of L travel, then it won't affect the rest of the system. Well, is it layering harmful? Sometimes if we don't have the full consideration, it's yes, but if we have the full consideration, we can avoid the effect of harmful factors. Of course, we can apply layering in the complex system, and of course, we can apply layering to the internet. Layering to the internet, we will define the internet protocol stack, including five layers. App layer, transfer layer, network layer, link layer, and physical layer. If uh, we have uh, the app layer, then we have uh, email. And so that we can have uh, the corresponding protocol IMAP and SMTP. And web, we have uh, the corresponding protocol of uh, HTTP. And transfer layer will care about process to process data transfer. So we can have an example of a TCP and UDP. And we have a network layer. Network layer care about routing of a datagram from the source to the destination. Therefore, we can have an IP protocol and routing protocol. And link layer care about data transfer between neighboring uh, network elements. And so that we can have uh, internet Wi-Fi that says IEEE L2.11. Only we have uh, the physical layer. Physical layer care about the bits on the wire. With uh, the internet protocols there, then we can use them to have uh, the operation. Operation care about encapsulation and decapsulation. So now let us have uh, the illustration. We have a message source and then to the transfer layer, adding header so that we have for the segment. Adding segment to uh, the data in the network layer so that we have for the data gram. And adding header to the data so that we have a frame in the link layer. And finally, we have for the bits on the wire and the wire to the router. Router extract to have message of a network layer and message of network layer after processing further. Then we can uh, put it to the destination. And uh, to the destination, get from the bits on the wire, then we have an extraction to get frame. 
they extract to have uh, the data grant extract to have uh, uh, the segment and then to the application layer to have the message so that we have uh, the original message well takeaways uh, in the short course we have the reason for Larry of course if uh, we have the concept of layer then we can define internet protocol stacks Based on the protocol step, we can have the operation in action so that we know the operation of uh, the internet. Well, that's it. This is the uh, today's course unit two. That's it, and see you. Bye bye. This is the end of uh, this unit. Thank you for watching.